Okay, uh, I want to talk to you guys today about antennas uh, on the stereos. Um, you know, this became a big issue with me a couple years back when I was stationed in Missouri. I know you guys always hear me talk about being stationed in Missouri uh, and having issues. Um, well, anyway, Lake of the Ozarks um, is kind of way up in the middle of the mountains and it's kind of really low. Uh, the water itself is kind of low elevation wise. So we would get out on the boat, we would get no radio stations whatsoever. Real pain in the ass. Um, so we'd have to go out in, you know, some of the, the wider open areas of the lake in order to get any kind of radio station. Um, so I got to thinking, you know, what's the best way to, to counter that? Um, you know, what kind of antenna did I have? Uh, and I don't know if any of you have really gotten underneath the cockpit and see these antennas. Man, they suck. Um, I'll show you. <clears throat> underneath. Now, I left it in there, but I didn't. Uh, it's not hooked up. I don't know if you can see it. It's that little that little tape. They're called tape antennas. See that little thing right there? Little black piece. It's got that really thin piece of let's just call it shit. Um, that's the antenna that comes with the boat. And they're called tape antennas. And what it does is it just kind of follows the contour of the boat, you know, up front and around underneath where you can't get to it. So, I mean, right off the bat, you're not getting any kind of great, um, uh, you know, pull from that antenna. So, what I did was I went and bought an, an antenna from AutoZone or I forget which, it was one of those automotive places. I bought an antenna. And I bought like a 15 foot antenna extension. So here's what I did. This was the very first hole that I ever drilled in my boat. And boy, I tell you, that was a pretty sad day. I was drinking a lot that day. But this is what I've used. And it helped an ass ton. Drilled the hole and I just ran that extension all the way back up. All the way back up that way and behind. And just connect it in the back of the radio. Now, this worked great. You know, it pulls up, you know, just like you see in a car, kind of. But you can see, now that I'm in salt water, shit rusts real easy. And it's rusty down here. And when I flip it down, like when I put the boat cover off and on, it gets snagged on the cover. And I'll tell you, this is my third antenna because I've bent the piss out of it. Or if I do it back down this way, um, you know... It worked great for a while, but now the rust and, you know, stuff like that is just really starting to piss me off. So, um, I want to try to figure out a better way to do it. So in a previous video, I'm sure you guys, if, if you've seen all my other videos, you heard me talking about the amp. Um, I got a new amp uh, last season, had the guys install it for me, wire it up. But the guy told me, he says, hey, you know, that's a good idea with that antenna. He says, but if you really want to get some good stations, he said, just tie it right into the mounting screws for the wakeboard tower. Just cut the antenna, uh, the antenna wire, and expose it just down to the center wire, only the center wire. And then you just unscrew that big uh, bolt that's underneath of there that holds the, the wakeboard tower in there, and then just tighten it back up. You know, weave the wire in there and tighten it back up. He says, now your entire wakeboard tower is, is one big antenna. So I'm gonna try to do that today. Um, trying to work with that screw, that hex nut and that bolt for that wakeboard tower is pretty tough to do by yourself. Normally I got my, my kid to help me when I tighten those up, you know, every season. Um, but I'm going to give it a shot. I'll see if I can do it uh, out here by myself and walk through it, and we'll see how it works. So I'm going to cut the tape now and, and kind of get all my stuff situated, and then I'll pick back up in a second. Okay, so what I've done, took the antenna out. Here's all the pieces. Uh, when it's all said and done, you know, I got this these metal caps. They're fancy. This is uh, what it looks like. Uh, what I'm going to end up capping that hole. 
Uh, I actually got the wrong size, so I have to go back and get that before it's all said and done. But that hole right there will be capped off with a nice piece of stainless steel cap. And those caps are like three or four bucks, I think, something like that. Um, <clears throat> my antenna, as you can see, it's down here. So this is the antenna that came with that one. Um, the extension is still, you know, I got it all nice and neat all up inside of there. So I'm going to go back underneath the cockpit and get that thing out. So I'll be back in a couple more minutes uh, with the next step, and we'll go from there. Okay, just so everybody knows kind of what I'm doing here. This is the antenna, like I showed you before. It's the antenna right there. This is the wire that came with it. Um, this is where it plugs directly into the back of the radio. And this is the part that was uh, connected to the actual base down here. Now, the extension, what I was talking about before, was this cord right here. See, that's the female end. And this goes directly into the back of the radio. And this all it is, is just a, an antenna extension cord. So, what I'm going to do is that wakeboard nut that's up there, that big old bastard, uh, I'm going to splice this cable and wire it right into that. Now, what I did, if you guys ever do this by yourself, here it is. Um, all I did was I placed it in there, put it backwards, and just used the leverage of the wakeboard tower itself to hold it steady so it doesn't all spin together. Um, I do believe that's a half inch hex. Uh, those are pretty expensive if you go buy it individually. It's best to just buy a whole big hex kit. Uh, that's a half inch drive even, so that's, you know, that's a big deal. So, what I'm going to do is try to squeeze my fat ass underneath there and, you know, because I'm not getting any younger and sure as hell I'm getting any skinnier, but it's a pretty tight squeeze in there. I don't, I'm not going to talk any racial stuff here, but uh, <laughs> Yamaha and maybe Japanese guys could fit in there, but... Those fat ass Americans got some troll. You guys may want to get a little bit of better design, get, in, get us fat folk in there. So, uh, all right, I'm going to cut out, stop talking trash, uh, and I'll pick up here in a couple minutes when I start getting stuff ready to get tightened back down. Okay, so there we go. I got, uh, you can see I got the antenna in there. You can see I got the bare wire, just like the guy told me. Hope it's, can't really tell if it's clear or not. If anybody does this, just be careful, man. That, uh, that little piece of brass wire in the middle of that antenna, that's some pretty flimsy stuff, so be careful. And put it above the washer. Don't put it in between the nut and the washer, because as you're tightening it, it tears it apart. So just put it above the washer where nothing moves, and you should be all right. So that's done. We got this on here. Tested... Uh, you know some of the stations and works great now I have an annoying amount of stations uh, it's gonna be bothersome um, but hey it's better than not enough so um, really not much of an instructional video to kind of show you how to do it but it kind of gives you the right direction if you want to upgrade an antenna it's really cheap like that one that I bought was like sixteen dollars I think and then the ten foot extension was like another nine um, and you just kind of build it and put it together it's real simple um, or even this one right here. Um, I mean, honestly, you could just cut the existing tape uh, antenna that's still in the boat and wire it up onto that thing too, up underneath the uh, wakeboard tower as well. Won't cost you a dime. Um, so it's up to you. Just another way to get a couple extra stations. If you're in an area like I used to be, uh, where there's just not a lot of signal strength, this definitely helps, uh, even here in Florida. Um, normally I get about... 10 stations so I'll flip through I got about 30 or so uh, so that's it guys I hope that helped out somebody um, so happy boating